And we have Jim Mars joining us to get into the whole Norway situation. And we'll also get into the economy uh, with author and researcher Jim Mars. Then coming out in the last hour, Alan Watt is going to join us on a host of issues. I've been trying to get to this since Sunday and have never covered it. I've made a few comments on it, but it, it's something that needs to be discussed in great detail. And I'm going to do that with uh, Alan Watt, a subject we haven't really discussed with Alan, but I know uh, he's a great researcher, so he'll be uh, fully informed on it and give us his own unique perspective on things. But I'm talking about a science fiction term because we're now not living in science fiction. We're living in the science uh, present of super science. And uh, here's the headline, existence of God particle to be decided by next year. Uh, the problem is CERN now won't release findings that it uh, finds to be politically incorrect uh, is the problem. Like it had to be leaked that they confirmed and test that uh, indeed there is solar radiation coming in that forms uh, the cloud nuclei uh, and that it's uh, not uh, human activity. Human activity doesn't even cover one percentage point of it. it it's almost entirely different particles from the sun. I, I don't need the CERN scientist to tell me that. There's been countless studies over the last 20 years uh, where they have uh, in laboratories, um, on aircraft, uh, in the atmosphere, um, confirmed this process is taking place. Now, the sun doesn't just heat the earth. It, it is showering us with just all different types of particles. Uh, and then, of course, there's also micrometeorites coming in that also help form nuclei. Uh, they estimate billions of micrometeorites coming in. Space is not empty. It's full of things. Uh, continuing uh, here, 1,500 human-animal hybrids grown in U.K. labs. That's part human, part insect, part human, part uh, reptile, part human, part fish. And I've talked to scientists uh, one of which is uh, quite prominent, and uh, they re they refuse to come on air uh, about the human clones and having to watch them in the artificial womb tanks, basically little children, uh, and 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 to watch them attempting to nurse, you know, gulping and 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 and, tr and trying to pacify themselves. Um, Another computer uh, engineer, well-known Republican here in Texas, uh, refused to come on the show. Uh, he was going to come on and talk about Singapore and uh, the different uh, how they drug different neighborhoods with different chemicals and biologicals to test them on people. And then he got scared, won't come on. But I have interviewed people, uh, doctors on air, uh, who have talked about uh, the chimera uh, cows and things. Uh, that are in the artificial wombs gulping and uh, trying to nurse and how that freaked him out. In fact, uh, a guest talking about that on air spurred the other scientists to tell me about the uh, human clones gulping, gulping for milk. <clears throat> yes, we've been totally dehumanized. Life isn't cheap. It's seen as garbage and trash by the psychopaths uh, who run things. And the sky is the limit of their depravity uh, and their evil. The sky is the limit. And I, quite frankly, don't even feel worthy to be able to even impart this information to you. I don't have the semantical lexicon. I do not have the bearing. Um, every philosopher, every leader, every poet, every preacher, every leader, everyone who feels called uh, to be a servant, every police officer should be spending at least 18 hours a day right now trying to warn people and trying to have a debate about the future of humanity. Instead, we have just totally handed over all responsibility to a psychopathic, decadent, ruthless, reckless ruling class who are in control of things, but they're in control uh, like a uh, Japanese kamikaze pilot about to fly uh, his plane into the deck of the Lexington aircraft carrier. 
They're in control like that. Uh, they're in control like uh, Jim Jones followers uh, taking the order to drink the grape Kool-Aid filled with cyanide. And uh, every instinct I've got tells me to shut down this entire operation or leave a skeleton crew here to buy a piece of property on a hilltop in Montana and to uh, build a huge bunker under it uh, and to basically broadcast from on top of a hill. I don't think it's enough that I've just moved outside of Austin. None of it's enough. Um, I mean, what I'm getting at here is we tend to get close to a problem, all of us, and start learning to live right next to it. It's like, oh, uh, this watering hole has crocodiles in it. And sure, you know, they eat villagers every few months, but it's the only water, so we've got to go to the water hole that's got 20-foot-long crocodiles in it. And that's what they do in Africa. They're just accustomed to, oh, yeah, somebody died this week when a 15-foot you know, cobra bit them. It's the same thing in India with those gigantic king cobras, 30-something feet long. Pump ounces of venom into you when they strike. So, I mean, I get it. Humans are adaptive. And when I was on an airplane flying up to be on um, The View and other TV programs months ago, uh, I was uh, sitting up there in the first class cabin because I you know, demanded that ABC uh, fly me up there that way. And they refused at first. They said, well, I'm not coming on The View then. They said, don't you want to be on The View? And I said, no. And they said, well, okay, thank you. And they called back, but side issue. Uh, it's just how the, it, it's all just just games of bluff with all these people. And I'm sitting there and I could kick myself because I wanted to remember his name. And I even told Ted Anderson it when I landed. I said, don't let me forget this. Write this down. And then Ted didn't write it down. But it, he was the he was the managing director of one of the big three banks. And he knew exactly who I was about 10 minutes into talking to me. He, he was coming to Austin to visit his father and his brother. His dad's a former what? what Air Force general. I remember all the stuff. If I saw him, I knew who he was. I need to go look at all the managing directors. And, and it's one of the big three. And about 10 minutes in from taking off to Austin to fly to New York, he realizes who he's sitting next to, and he kind of pushes back and then wanted to stop talking to me. And I said, no, we're going to talk. And at the end of it, he smiled at me, and he said, people will put up with anything. It's part of our adaptive process. And the system uses that, Jones. And he was just so cold, a lot smarter than I am, decided to join evil. That's how these guys are, you know. Uh, and he had the perfect banker out, you know, the perfect suit and, and, you know, the perfect black trench coat when he got up. He'd been on a three-hour flight, got up, looked absolutely perfect, perfect, you know, posture, everything. And he was just evil. I mean, his eyes were just burning with, with uh, Machiavellian uh, wickedness. And, uh, you know, here I am, this kind of country bumpkin stock, you know, uh, talking to him and, and trying to get info out of him. And uh, at, at the end, he just looks at me and he goes, people will muddle through anything. They're adaptive. And the system uses that against them. And it's true. I mean, look, I would tell you 15 years ago about human clones. And they kill them, supposedly, before they reach term. And so it's an abortion, so it's okay. And uh, they've gotten women to sign on to have the clones grown in them. They've, they've, they, they, do, they grow them in cows as their favorite. And, of course, the humanoid is made part cow, so it doesn't have rights. But it's a human. You know, it's less than one-tenth of one percent in, 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 the, in the clones they admit. Um, it's less than one-tenth of one percent cow. And that's done, they claim, so it isn't rejected in the womb. And that's part of it. But they brag the good part is this is not a human now. This is a new creature and it has no rights. Can you imagine what the globalists are doing? Can you imagine the power trips they're on, the fact that they're 30 years at least ahead of what we know about? 15 years ago they admitted that, well, what would they say, five years before? So that'd be 20 years ago. The BBC, uh, 20 years ago, they had human clones. And... Uh, <laughs> right around that time, they get around, oh, we just cloned a sheep. Yeah, it's the first time. It's confirmed the Nazis were cloning rabbits 
in the late 1930s, ladies and gentlemen. It's 100%. In fact, I went to a uh, NASA um, exhibition in Dallas uh, when I was a teenager, and they had sketches of Werner von Braun. I'm, my mother and uh, her brother, my uncle, were actually taken to see Werner von Braun give a speech at the University of Texas in a demonstration. That was the kind of guy that my grandpa was, always wanted to interest him in science. He was a wildcat archaeologist and uh, also inventor. He invented a remote control robot uh, to, uh, to uh, taser crowds. The Pentagon bought it but never deployed it, uh, never mass produced it. But side issue, um, Werner von Braun, what was it, 34? Or his first sketches were in the 20s, but in 34, he'd drawn out and actually mapped the, the, the design of the space shuttle <laughs> that went into service in 1980, and they just retired. Well, which one was it, Atlantis, Atlantean? Um, <laughs> I mean, they, they've, got, they've got part reptile, part human creatures. They've got everything, and they're telling us they've got these. Can you imagine what's going on in the underground bases? I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore. And, and no one wants to talk about it. They care about the NFL and garbage. Look, Obama is terrorizing the public just like Henry Paulson did three years ago with Bush saying total collapse martial law if you don't give the bankers unlimited trillions. And it's the same thing now. A, 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 a U.S. president is supposed to reassure the public and buoy confidence if they're a real president. Uh, and that's not what he did. He went out there as a front man for the bankers to terrorize the public. I've got a bunch of poll numbers here. We're going to cover it coming up in the next hour. Uh, and we're going to open the phones up here in a moment for a, a short bit. But then we've got uh, then we've got uh, Jim Mars coming on. But but I I can't do justice to talking about what Obama did last night in just a few minutes. So we're going to cover that uh, in the second hour. But at the end of the day. In laboratories in Tokyo, uh, Japan, you know, Costa Rica, the United States, all of these places, they play games like, oh, we care about babies and their and their DNA and their and their stem cells. So we've got laws restricting the use of that. But if we change the DNA of a human embryo and add, say, fish genes or lizard uh, reptile genes or amphibian frog genes to it, then we can do whatever we want with these humanoid creatures that have feelings and are in pain. Uh, and and it, is, it is just demonic to the maximum. And uh, th they admit in the news, oh, this has all been kept secret from you for many years. Uh, but now they want to announce that they've done this. Ladies and gentlemen, if I told you the stuff I know, you wouldn't even believe it. You know what? We're just going to leave it at that. We're just going to leave it at that, and I'll talk more about it. The things I've run into, the things I've seen in my life, the people I've met, the, the, uh, the, 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 the different folks in my family, and uh, the different uh, things they've seen. Um, it's like that line from Blade Runner. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. But, I mean, who would believe? I, I, I saw comments that I'm lying about the 150-plus uh, that they're admitting, uh, just in England, of part animal, part human clones. China has announced a month ago that by next year they're going to have on the market, they're just embracing it all like no one else publicly, human milk produced in cows. Do you have any idea the ramifications of that? The zoological cross-species contamination, the super viruses it probably has already given rise to. I mean, do you have any idea the hell storm they're opening? But I'll tell you, the only reason they're now announcing all of this is because they're at least, at least, they admit 30 years ahead in their technocratic uh, towers, in their technological breakaway civilization reservations. And so they are so advanced past what they're even telling us about that they feel confident they can control all of this. Well, they didn't control... Fukushima, they stored the rods on top of it, but then you talk to Dr. Busby, who was proven right on every front. He says a lot of his colleagues believe it's being done on purpose to destroy human fertility.